Hey, Harry Potter fans. Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector channel where we are a community of collectors. Today we have another Harry Potter New York store haul. This is from my previous trip when I went for the virtual reality experiences. That video is still coming. I'm just waiting on some final approval things before that video is released, but it's on its way. But this is the stuff that I picked up during that trip. So let's do a haul show and tell. Let's open up the Butterbeer bag first. We put this one aside. Oh, first, first things first, this shirt. This is from the Harry Potter store in New York. It was $30 and I have to admit, I wasn't sure how it would look on. I'm kind of weird about like trying things on before I purchase them. So I did not try it on in their fitting rooms. They do have fitting rooms. So if you go there and want to try something on, ask a team member, they'll help you out. But I literally put it on just before filming this video and it is like a premium Hogwarts Crest tee. It's probably the best Hogwarts Crest tee that I've ever worn. Look at how beautifully printed the Hogwarts Crest is. It's vibrant. It really pops over this black shirt. It fits well, the artwork sits in a nice location. Just overall, I would give this like a eight and a half or nine out of 10. The reason it's not a 10 out of 10 is because the artwork is a little bit thick, but not super thick that the shirt's not gonna keep moving. So if you see this shirt, I highly recommend you pick one up. All right, so first things first, we have a Butterbeer reusable tote. You can purchase these for like three or four bucks at the Harry Potter store. They've got a bunch of varieties. They have a Marauder's Map one, Hogwarts Express, New York store one. So a nice wide variety of totes. All right. I brought back a pack of four Butterbeer bottles. Now you can purchase a pack of four Butterbeer bottles. They come in a smaller size or you can get a single bottle, which is a little bit larger, but it comes in this really fun packaging. And then the bottles themselves are also themed. So these just make really nice display pieces after you've drunk the Butterbeer inside. This particular bottled Butterbeer is vegan. It does not have the foam or the cream that usually goes on top of Butterbeer. So if you have not been able to try Butterbeer in the past due to any dietary needs or restrictions, this is a good option to give it a try. But I just love this theming done by Mina Lima. Even this set on your shelves would look very cool. This bag is all Butterbeer, I think. So let's just pull everything out. We've got keychains, some pins. So this here is that same Butterbeer artwork, but it's on a bar towel. Really cool design. I love the fact that you can display display this in your kitchen. You can do a little butterbeer theme. And again, designed by Mina Lima. There's a little hook here to hang up the towel. All right, so we have butterbeer pins. <laughs> This is literally like the Butterbeer section. Now this is the stained glass artwork that is above the Butterbeer bar in New York City. It's the very first Butterbeer bar in the world. And you can see this stained glass. And I love that they created a smaller version in pin form that you can take home with you. And then this is a pin of that butterfly like person hybrid thing that we see on the bottles themselves. So I think that's also fun. Here is a Butterbeer can opener. This is some heavy solid metal. And then it says Butterbeer brewed and bottled in the United Kingdom from the original Leaky Cauldron recipe. I just love those little touches. Here are two keychains. You can also get that stained glass window in keychain form. And then that same Butterbeer logo we see on the bottle also in a keychain form. All right, now we're moving away from Butterbeer, but we're still in keychains. These are two that I thought were incredible. They are new. I hadn't seen them at the Harry Potter store in the past, but look at this chocolate frog keychain. So there's a chocolate frog card and then a chocolate frog. And he's like this brown metallic -y color. So I thought that was a very cool keychain. And then my favorite of the keychains, which I will definitely be putting on my keys, the golden snitch. Check this thing out. The wings kind of dangle on the side of the golden snitch itself, but it's so like, it's, it feels so delicate. And then on the keychain itself is a little charm that says platform nine and three quarters. I'm not sure why it says platform nine and three quarters when it's a golden snitch, but that's what it says. All right, and the second bag. So here is another wearable item. I'm gonna save this for last because I think it is very cool and also something new that I hadn't seen at the Harry Potter store in the past. This is something that we have seen, but I picked up another one of them. There are more items in there, but I'm just gonna show you this first. This is another Golden Snitch Wand. So the Golden Snitch Wand is back in stock. It is an exclusive to the Harry Potter store in New York. You cannot purchase it anywhere else, but an absolutely stunning, stunning wand. Check this thing out. I mean, look at that. 
Isn't that gorgeous? So I purchased another one because I figured it might be fun to do a giveaway at some point in the future. No, there's not a giveaway in this video, but sometime in the future, you may have a chance to win this golden snitch wand. If you are new to the Potter Collector channel, welcome. We are happy to have you here. If you are a returning Potter Collector community member, welcome back. Now, if you have not seen it, I did a video on every single exclusive design collection wand that you can purchase at the Harry Potter store. So there are house themed wands, magical creatures, themed wands, the golden snitch wand over there, like a Hogwarts architecture wand. Absolutely stunning things. Check that out if you haven't seen it. All right, so I have a bunch of cards here. Like, I went wild with cards. Some are Mina Lima, some are Inside Edition, some are pop-up cards. They are absolutely fantastic. Let's take a look at the Mina Lima ones first. So if you don't know, Mina Lima did all of the graphic design for the Harry Potter movies. And then a fun fact that a lot of people don't know, they even designed things like Ravenclaw's Diadem, the Time Turner, all of these very famous, well-known props that we know. Those were also designed by Mina Lima. But in addition to those, as well as the graphic design, Design, they designed all of the book covers that we know. So like advanced potion making. You can purchase this in greeting card form. It has silver foiling on it. Really beautiful. Here is Hogwarts A History and A History of Magic. Look at all that foiling. This is that very famous Daily Prophet article that we saw. New headmaster for Hogwarts, Severus Snape confirmed. And what's cool about this card is the picture is lenticular. So it looks like the picture is moving as they do in the Wizarding World. Now, speaking of Mina Lima, I have a very exciting announcement to share with you guys on October 4th. So set an alarm and tune in. I can't say anything else until October 4th. And a chance for you to participate in this exciting announcement that I cannot tell you until October 4th, so tune in. All right, these were done by Pop Craft. I mean, once I saw one, I had to get them all. And all these cards, by the way, are blank, so you can put whatever you want inside. You can make them for whatever occasion you want. But look at these house crest cards. A stunning Gryffindor crest card with gold foiling. Hufflepuff is just shining with this silver foiling. And Ravenclaw, unfortunately, with a raven represented, but still a really beautiful card. And last but not least, Slytherin. My house. Love the green, love the silver. Super cool cards. I could not decide on one, so I got them all. And I also purchased an additional Slytherin and Ravenclaw to give to my brothers. It was their birthday, and Michael is a Slytherin, and Thomas is a Ravenclaw. All right, these cards I am super super stoked about. That I'm gonna save, that I'm gonna save. We'll open this one, then that one. These are pop-up cards. Now these are also made by Popcraft. Here's the first one. It says, after all this time on the front, it shows Severus and Lily. And then when you open it up, <laughs> isn't that nuts? It says always in gold and it's surrounded by branches and flowers and just, Absolutely beautiful. So love this. I love them all. You're gonna hear me say love this for all of them. So just be prepared. Uh, let's see, we'll do this one next. And on the front of this card, it says special delivery. So this is probably for like a birthday card or kind of a special occasion sort of card. And look at that. Like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Da, 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 da. We see Hedwig delivering Harry's Nimbus 2000, and she is also carrying a Hogwarts letter. Like, I'm never gonna wanna send these cards, but I'm gonna have to send these cards because they're too beautiful to just keep. All right, that's a saver, and this is a saver. Let's do this one next. You guys recognize that, don't you? Ronald Weasley! How dare you steal that car! I am absolutely disgusted! A pop up. Howler, how incredible is that? And then on the bottom it says, you've got yourself a howler. Inside of the howler's mouth, you can see Mrs. Weasley's writing and you can actually read part of it. Your father is now facing an inquiry at work and it's entirely your fault. I mean, whoever came up with these cards, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. All right, this one is meant for like love or friendship. If I'm a keeper, then you're a catch. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Look at this. A golden snitch. A life-size golden snitch just pops out of the card. And then the backdrop is beautiful too, showing the Quidditch pitch. I mean, look at that. I mean, I cannot be the only one freaking out about these. If you are freaking out as much as I am, leave a comment down below and join me so that I can feel like I'm not the only one freaking out about these because these are just ridiculous. All right, last but not least is an all occasions card. I think you can guess what's gonna happen when I open this thing up. Ready? Are you ready though? Are you ready? One, two, three. 
Hogwarts Castle. Hogwarts Castle just popped out of this card. What? How is this a thing? Like, I've seen pop-up cards before, but like, it's amazing. It's just absolutely amazing. And we're talking all around too. Like the card is surround sound. Absolutely stunning. We have the Great Hall there, the Boathouse, Hagrid's Hut, Gryffindor Tower, the Astronomy Tower. I mean, you can't beat this one. I mean, the Golden Snitch one is really cool. And they're really all cool. Hedwig is cool. I mean, but this, it's Hogwarts, come on. Amazing. I would freak out if I got this for a birthday or some sort of occasion or whatever. I mean, I'm freaking out now and I gave it to myself. So imagine if someone else gave it to me. All right, last but not least is that apparel item. Now this was $55, which is more on the pricey side. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I have a story. So I had two other items in this haul. One was exploding bonbons and the other was Choco Chalk, which is chocolate mixed with chili powder. Well, I accidentally left the Potter Collector library door open and one of my pups snuck in and got into the Choco Chalk. Now what's really funny is they tried to get through the plastic that had sealed the exploding bonbons, but they couldn't get through it. So they gave up and then went for the Choco Chalk. Now the gross part of the story is I came home and looked on my couch in the living room and saw this giant brown blob and then I walked in the room and saw a giant brown blob on the ground. Now if you didn't know, dark chocolate is very bad for dogs. I'm pretty sure it was Max who ate it and he just threw it all up. Like you could still see chocolate chunks in that vomit. It was not good, but don't worry, Max was fine. He was checked and was cleared. So all is well on that front, but the Choco Chalk and the exploding bonbons, which I just decided to eat since they had eaten the Choco Chalk. So there's really no excuse as to why I'm not showing you the exploding bonbons because I just decided to eat them. But that's why you're not seeing those two candy items. All right, so the final item, the apparel item, you dark arts fans, this I thought was just so incredibly cool. I want to wear this at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter during the Halloween season. So I'm actually hoping for a cooler night when I go down there sometime in October so that I can wear this Deathly Hollow shirt with a Death Eater inside of the Deathly Hallows. Is that so cool? And then it's just a basic black crew neck. I have not tried it on yet, so let's magically try it on. It would have been really sad if I didn't like it, because this really is the first time that I've tried it on. Isn't that so cool? I love it, I absolutely love it. So if you're a Dark Arts fan, or you want something a little more spooky for the Halloween season, this may be the black crew neck for you. Well, that was the haul from this past trip. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Let me know. If you've been to the Harry Potter store in New York City, what did you pick up yourself? If you have not been to the Harry Potter store yet, what one or two items from this haul would you choose? I'd love to know. So again, leave a comment down below. As far as the virtual line to enter the Harry Potter store goes, the wait times have been cut down significantly. There are still some days on the weekends that fill up. So if you're going on a weekend, I suggest that you go early. But if you go on a weekday, I've seen the Harry Potter store in New York announce zero wait times or like 30 minute wait times. So it's a great sign that the long waits are probably behind us. But definitely follow the New York store on Instagram or Twitter. That's where they make all the announcements for the virtual line or the virtual queue so you can keep up to date. If you have any questions about Harry Potter or collecting, feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram at the Potter Collector or on Twitter at Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?